Hi, in this video I'll show you how to use tachymeter on watches. Tachymeter is used to measure average speed or distance. Here you can see tachymeter scale marked on the outer rim of the watch dial. It starts with 500 units per hour on this watch but it can start with higher or lower value on other watches. The marking goes all the way down till 60 units per hour which is the least speed that can be measured. Let us see maths behind tachymeter. We know that speed is equal to distance divided by time. But as we are here using chronograph seconds hand, the time is in seconds. In order to convert the time into R, we'll have to divide time by 3600. So the final equation in the box is used in the tachymeter scale. To measure average speed if distance is known, imagine you are traveling by bus and have no idea about speed of the bus, but you can see the road signs like some XYZ city is 5 kilometers and next road sign shows same city at 4 kilometers. To find average speed, hit the start button when you cross first road sign. After a while, when you reach next road sign, hit the stop button. Here the elapsed time is 30 seconds and distance covered as we know from road signs is 1 km. Thus our equation gives average speed of 120 km per hour and it is also shown on the tachymeter scale. If the road signs would have been in miles instead of kilometers then our speed would have been 120 miles per hour. Thus we can say that Tachymeter scale is valid for many different units including miles, kilometers, nautical miles or meters. It can be used for any unit. To measure distance when speed is known. For example, if the speed is 120 miles per hour, push the start button and once the second hand aligns with the value of speed on the tachymeter scale, hit the stop button. In this time, we would have traveled a unit distance, in this case, which is equal to 1 mile. It is interesting to know how exactly tachymeter works, but in reality, someone might not use it ever, as smartphones equipped with GPS can do much more.